Hey people, here we go. New EP from Joe B. Another one on Halcyon. Impressive stuff. This one is called Hazard Statements. The one we got last year from him, Gagatones, was very good. I ended up maybe not quite getting it is a better way of putting it. The first few times I heard it, you know, the abstract nature of it, more of a melodic slant perhaps for him. But I ended up putting it as one of my best albums, sorry, best albums, best EPs of last year. So it did rub off on me over the course of the year it definitely did rub off on me a bit and here we have another one i get the impression this one is gonna be a wee bit heavier just a wee bit heavier let's kick off with the opener shall we four tracks here uh, just over 13 minutes in total and number one is called causes severe skin burns who wants it who fucking wants it I fucking want it, mate. I fucking want it. Fucking give it to me, mate. Ah. Ooh. Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, that's so crunchy. Oh. The chat's going out the box because it's so hype. Oh, 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 that's, oh, that's filthy as fuck, man. <laughs> oh man, is he, and he's just lobbing all the jazzy kind of stuff that he's gone for in the past as well. Just massaging a bit of that in there as well, why don't you? What is going on here? This is... This is odd. Again, it, it has an abstract feel about it, obviously being considerably darker. Like, ah, oh, it's crunchy. It's so, it's so fucking crunchy, like crunchy not. Really interesting tune. I think, you know, as the, as the song goes on, there might be a few people who are like, I just wanted a little bit more, just something a little bit like a, an overlaying touch, like a melodic thing or a synth or something, just to perk it up that little bit more, make the idea just that little bit more interesting as it goes on, because it is just a load of crunchy crunchy goodness I suppose as it goes on as a track happens and yeah you may be itching for something a little bit just to perk it up as it goes on but I, I, I quite I quite like the fact that it never really switches that up because I think from Joe B that shows a kind of confidence in the idea in the sounds and the texture of it the production and everything like that just having that whole almost bit crushy kind of appeal but not quite that obviously just being confident with that over the course of the tune is uh, quite a cool thing lobbing in a load of the abstract stuff that we might have heard on gagatones uh, just putting that back in here again it is another housey on ep so basically just saying yeah this is what i'm about on this label i'm bringing my heaviness back in but you are still going to get a little bit of that weirdness that just puts it you know off center a little bit makes it a bit off kilter and just uh, makes you question what you're listening to essentially and that was uh, that was particularly clear i thought in the midsection where you weren't well i wasn't anyway entirely sure how that was matching up with the beat, that sound that was just a bit weird, that do -de 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 -de. could have had a bit more to the idea as it went on, perhaps as the track went on, but for me I'm just loving um I'm just loving the the whole distorted feel, the twisted feel of the sounds we're getting there in that heaviness. I'm a fan of that. Track number two with Vex U on the collaborative duty is a uh, fire hazard it's true you know that did that track did have a bit of a like a hot feel to it like it was burning you the skin burns were were, were there they were there to be had Yeah. Oh, it's a little bit, little bit of a hip and a hop and a skip and a hip and a scop and a jump and a hip and a dab and a dab and Yeah, I mean the articulation of the heaviness here very much apparent when with the first, with the first one. Sorry, is maybe just a bit more full on, a bit you know stodgier, a bit more layered and thick. This one's a bit more icy. 
Oh, that snare. Oy. Oh, there's quite a range of different drops we're getting here. There's not that much kind of linearity between them, which I like. You don't know quite where it's going to go. It's like an inside-out snare, says Jack. I like that. I like that. I, I, I like that. Okay, before we move on there, just got to catch my breath for a sec, because that one was, that one was filthy as shite. Definitely different in the articulation and the execution of it. When the first, or with the first one, sorry, we had a pretty continuous idea with the drops that just carried on through the tune, and you may be, you know, wanting just a little bit more variety or something to just, again, perk it up as it went on, but this one, you got four distinct sections, I think, that are all pretty different from each other, all got that icy, articulated feel about them, but they have different sounds, they got different flows, they got different patterns when it comes to how the sounds are laid out, and that's just a really clever way I think of keeping the attention of the listener. The only one I wasn't massive on was maybe the second one which acted as a bit of a follow-on from the first drop that we got, the first release of Heaviness. That felt a little bit inactive, that felt a little bit stuck and like it needed something a little bit more, just had to you know kind of push it along just that little bit but aside from that the ones we got surrounding that all quite full with a lot going on just super energetic yeah really keeping your attention keeping you locked in with different kinds of dynamic and spaced out staccato-esque kind of sound layout just really really cool with that tune in particular the heaviness does carry it through with this one the variety the diversity on that front and just so prickly and on its feet and dainty and um, i'm a big fan of that that is uh, a massive part of joe b style that i like a lot next up we got toxic if swallowed that percussion bruh bruh oh god i can feel that building Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Get out. Get out. Behave yourself. Behave yourself, Joseph. You little rascal. Right, that's a... Rewind my selector. I haven't done that in a while. Someone just said they vomited. Fantastic. Congratulations. Deary, deary, deary me. Joseph Bunny Man. Behave yourself. Oh, mate. <laughs> that is. That is outrageous. That's already one of my favourite heavy, like uber heavy tracks of this year so far. That drilling sound. You know how difficult it is to execute that properly? That can come off so fucking abrasive. That can come off so harsh and overblown and just, oh, uh, you're like, I can't, I can't have that in my ear. But that, that's elite. Someone just said they've got static electricity running through their body. That's what it feels like. It feels like my whole body is being fried right now. Like just being zapped completely. I just... And that kind of vocal sample usage. What's that remix he did last year? It sounds like that. It sounds like that. Easy lover. My G. Coming through with the answers. Coming through with the answers. Oh, it's a real cruncher again, isn't it? It's super. Mate, no, no, you're deading me out here. You're deading me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. That is my favourite so far. That is my favourite so far. I mean, there's been a decently high standard with this EP with the first half, but that one just um, 
it took it to a different level I think with the the graininess of that drop that we got replicated at different points in the track as well so that it wasn't just kind of concentrated into one particular release of heaviness and we got loads of fantastic synth usage just kind of uh, hovering over the top giving it a bit more of an exalted feel beyond the the grittiness and the grainy graveliness of that drill like heaviness that we got again with that first drop but later on as well really nice bit of continuation about it there i got a little bit lost in it and that it's one that i'm gonna hear again to get the full effect of it but what i do know is that it sent me completely west i mean that fake out that fake out in itself was just like i'm always sat there when i hear a fake out like okay here we go again but there's a way of executing it that keeps you really locked in and keeps you engaged and i think he did that really really well it had this scaled up just really thrilling feel about it and you could just sense that something monstrous was going to come your way it took me to the the very lowest depths of hell and back track number four though the final cut is fatal if inhaled let's get it <laughs> you know, I think this one's going to rip my insides out as well. Play it again. 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 Cracking stuff. I'm rewinding that again. Double rewind. A double rewind for one EP. That's a bit mad, you know. Let's get it. There's some fucking flavor in the second half. In the second half of this EP, there's some outrageous flavor. Outrageous. I'm finished. I'm 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 absolutely finished. It went into a bit of like a mm, da, mm, da, mm, da. like did I hear that wrong? Did it have a little bit of like a mumba or like a baile funk thing about it for a second, for like a hot second? I mean, he's really effectively, I think, bringing the the abstract into his heavy, into his heavier style. It's clever. There's some clever shit. Not gonna lie. I want to try and follow it. I really want to try and follow the music, but I can't, and I love that. I love that about it. You know what I mean? Uh, oof, I didn't want to vom there. That was close. That was a close one. Guys, please drop your favourite from the EP in the chat if you have a favourite, because genuinely, I'm struggling myself. All four tracks have got something about them. If we talk about the opener, got that really lovely textured, thick heaviness to it. Then the second one, just that little bit more... Uh, articulated and sharp and just dagger like on its feet energetic the third one it's got that incredible drill sequence uh, for each bit of heaviness that we get some really good kind of overlaying touches as well and then that is just for me a sensational marriage of joe b's more abstract approach and his super detailed and refined heavy approach i mean there's so much going on with this ep I can't really do it justice uh, just talking about it here having heard it once just being in the moment reacting to it i can't remember everything uh, that was good about it i mean even from the first second the vocal sample that we got at the beginning of the first tune causes severe skin burns i mean even that i was locked in from that moment i was like okay this is gonna be a bit naughty this is gonna be a little bit devilish the first couple of tunes i'm like yes there's a lot of good with those tunes i'm not like completely 100% fully thrown by them but I can appreciate the ideas are great the sound usage is fantastic and they're just really well made given what they're going for which is completely different by the way with that first two tunes those first two tunes but then the second half what happened did he just start drinking different water something demonic was unleashed in him he went through some kind of exorcism or something that second two that's one of the best second halves to an EP I've heard in a long time. It's not often that you hear something for the first time and you just like get those knots in your stomach, do you know what I mean? But I very much had it with those tunes, hearing them for the first time. One of the best EPs of this year so far, for sure. I mean, it has to be. If you're, if you're being ambitious and you're being adventurous with your production and with your 
sound usage and your idea making and your idea formulation like that, you deserve the plaudits. You deserve the plaudits. And I'm, I'm very happy to give them because that was, especially that second half, outrageous. I've said it a lot of times so far, but outrageous. More so than most other EPs I hear. Just very excited to hearing all the intricate details with each of these tunes. The variety is fucking sick. That is a good one from Joe B. Hazard Statements. Big up.